Don't be a fool. This is no game. Your men don't need to die. Surrender. for the center aisle and bring down that gate. It's a good day to kill, your majesty. Follow me, gentlemen, for Temeria. Lord Swan, you and your men shall follow me. We must capture or otherwise deal with Arian Lavalette in order to break the defender's morale. Yes, your grace. Geralt, gentlemen, follow me for the glory. God damn it! I forbid you to die like imbeciles! Hear me! They've taken a good position, the bastards! If this persists, they'll pick us off like ducks, and I'm no duck! Any ideas? That ballista would do the trick. Ballistas protected by rebel soldiers, Geralt focuses on thinning out the regular soldiers since they're easier to kill. The knight is heavily armored but goes down eventually. The shield bearer is best countered with an odd force push. Exploring the area near the gates to the rear also shows the dead corpse of Assassin's Creed character Altair. Mm. Guess they'll never learn. It seems that the pile of hay wasn't quite big enough this time. Discovering Altair will grant the assassin ability for extra damage when hitting the backs of enemies.
damage taken during the battle doesn't heal until enemies are dead, but Geralt can take potions either before dropping down from the walls or once he's cleared the ballista. A swallow heals over time, and a wolverine makes Geralt's attacks more powerful. Potions last for a period in real time, an hour in this case, which is quite a long time, so it shouldn't be too sparing with them. Geralt battles enemy archers and footmen to get back to the top of the walls, where Foltest's men are fighting. Yes, he should be careful about archers in the rear, because those arrows can't be parried. Geralt missed Echeberry with the Ballista, he'll have to be dealt with here. The assault continues beyond the initial barricade to the next tower, where Baron Labellet still holds a very strong position. Tempered but good with a sword. Be careful. I'll try to reason with him. At this point, Geralt should have gained a level and can learn the repost ability. Reposting about 30 to 50 enemies will lead to the parry ability unlocking. That allows Geralt to automatically repost about 10% of the time. Using the Quen symbol and cover allows Geralt to close to the bowman. Oh! 
famed Geralt of Rivia. You've fallen low, Witcher. Word has it you're one of the best swordsmen in the north. Time to test that rumor. If you insist. Halt! Stand He's down. mine! Surrender and Foltest will treat you and your men with honor. And what guarantee is there that he'll not cut us down to the last? None. Foltest defiled my mother. Now he colludes with Nilfgaard. The king leads an army. You have but a few brave men and your honor. In a minute you may lose even those. Choose. Hear that, men! The king sends a witcher and we are to surrender, forgetting the very nature of honor and pride. We must choose. Shame or a witcher's sword? Is that how you would live? Will you bow your heads before Foltest? Never! You heard them, witcher. This is between us. So be it. Stand back, men! My nanny told me stories about you and I couldn't sleep. I especially liked the one of Renfrey and her robes. As I grew, I dreamed of facing you one day. That dream will not have a happy ending for you. Stand your ground! Halt! Yeah. He's mine! Ah. <laughs> The successor of one of Temeria's oldest families perished at the hands of a monster slayer. 
A sign of the times, I suppose. You mourn Arian? No. He was one of a dying breed. And he was a traitor. Don't be a fool. This is no game. Your men don't need to die. Surrender, and the king will show mercy. My mother has seen enough of this king's mercy. What'll you do? Throw yourself on my sword? Run? He made mother a harlot, then denied her before all the realm. True enough. But no massacre, no misguided heroism will change that. Drop your weapons. Should anything happen to my mother, I shall find you and kill you. Any other choice will result in Arian's death, but if you save him, he and Geralt will meet again further down the line. Arian Lavalette laid down his sword. Well, well. Have you spoken to him? Briefly. Just before they took him off to the torture chamber. The hard luck of a traitor. Continue. While I remember, what happened to the dragon? It destroyed half the castle. Killed hordes of soldiers and flew off. Where? In the general direction of Edda. To think it almost killed us all. Arian Lavalette has surrendered the castle. Open up! And the Baron lives? Yes, he lives. I'm not spiteful. Open this gate, kneel before your king, and I shall show you mercy. Looks like we're stuck. Indeed, and my magic's no good here. The main force down in those boots is going to beat us to town. We want to head back to the tent. The camp will be nice and empty now. I've had enough for today. Tempting. Look, the king's special forces. We want to see him! You doubt my words, dog! Open the gate now! Vernon Roach. Tell me, Roach. There's fighting in the town. A section of our forces crossed the river in fishing boats and swarmed the streets, burning, raping, pillaging. The Lavalettes are making a stand near the temple. What of the Baroness? Alive and safely tucked away. Unsoiled, I hope. As you ordered, sir. She's fine. And beautiful as ever. The children were not with her. But you know where they are? In the monastery. But we've yet to penetrate that area. Cross, quickly. Protect the king! Take cover! To the hoardings! Protect the king! Run for the hoardings! I hit my leg for a heavy crossbow right now. It's a dragon! I can't believe it! Marigold, stop admiring it and do something! It's not that simple! Before the moon turned my army to cinder! Waiter, how do you find something like that? You don't. You run. So the rest of you are. We've got to get to the town. We might stand a chance. Is it true you witches don't have a Mm-hmm. This one doesn't seem to know that. Do you want me to go over and tell him? No oh, idea. You're the monster experts. Dragon! Take cover! To the hoardings! The gate! They're at the gate! At them! Thank <laughs> you. 
plowing dragon nearly reversed the course of the battle. The fighting should have scared it off. Forget the dragon. I need to hear how this story ends. You were at my side almost all the time after the bridge collapsed. Almost. Tell me how you got into the monastery courtyard. Ha! And they said we couldn't get near the walls. Half a day and the town is taken. Report! Fighting for the castle continues, and a group of rebels have barricaded themselves inside the monastery. What of my children? Likely in the church as well, sire. Fen took a priest to task, finally mumbled something about a passage neath the walls. It would take a week to get a battering ram in here. Axes, sire. That will also take time. But what other course do we have? This priest. What of him? What of this passage? I fainted for I could really get going on him. He's under guard below. You've some work to do, Commander. Yes, sire. Silas, you look to this door. Fen, come with me. Witcher. Your grace. I have a mission for you, one suited to your abilities. Vernon can be persuasive, but he's also hot-tempered, at times losing both his self-control and his subject. You must try to find this other passage on your own. Succeed, and you'll be the envy of all Vizima. Soldiers loyal to the Lavalettes would never harm the Baroness's children. I shall be reassured as to that when I see them, not before. We must act quickly. The rebels are dispersed, in disarray. As dim-witted as they are, I fear they could conclude the children would make good hostages. Maybe Roach will get something out of this priest. It's a relatively large town, I could use a hint. I'm counting on him, but time is of the essence. Please explore the area. We seek a tunnel or something similar. Beware of traps, they may have planted some. You're best suited to this. My men lack your skills. All right, I'll go. I'm relying on you, Witcher. Where are those axes? Move your asses! Would you release us, soldier, sir? Shut it. We're innocent. The king will decide your fate. My thumb! What will I do without a thumb? Um, we have Temerians. And now Horson shall answer for treason. What treason, my lord? We're simple folk and know nothing of politics. Love and lost, so you whimper like dogs. What will you do with us? The <coughs> king will decide. Now, up against the wall and shut your traps. I was just following orders. I've always been the king's loyal subject. Bloody invaders. Temerian torturers. Typically, a conquering army would engage in looting and take liberties with the women of the town. God's help us! What have you done to her? Shut it. Help! Time to pay your war tax. Gold and silver on the table. And shut your gobs! While exploring the town, Geralt can intervene to prevent some of the more bloodthirsty acts by Voltaire's men. Get lost. Get out of here now, or you'll leave when I feed your corpses to the stray dogs. This one's got murder in his eyes. Let's go. Get out of here, now. Uh, right, sir. Let's go. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Be careful. You may not be so lucky next time. Find a place to hide. I must find my wife first. They herded her away with others like cattle. Good luck. I will cleanse your tainted souls. It'll be better this way for all of us. Faster with those logs! You've no business here. Leave them alone. They're innocent. Innocent? They're with the lavalettes. Weeds that need to be ripped out with their roots so they won't grow back again. Treason spreads like the plague. No one will leave here alive. And you stay out of this. I won't stand by while you murder innocents. So, what'll you do? Kill you. I was not after your blood. I have witnesses. <laughs> Let 
let the people out and walk away. Unblock the door! I'll report this. Yeah, you do that. Burn anything or touch a single woman, you sons of bitches, and the king will hear of it. Leave us be! You're free. Thank you, my lord. Find a place to hide until this madness ends. But where? What shall we do now? Fall back! Retreat! The sun's coming! Die! The soldier Geralt saves points out that the enemy seems to be coming from nowhere, almost as if they've sprouted from the ground. The order sheets on the soldiers also hint that the path to the temple is closed. That's a hint. Block the passage, quick! They burned down our hopes! Made off with everything else! Gods, why? Quiet down, please, before they hear us and come back. Sir, shut it. We're innocent. The king will decide your fate. Indeed, the path is down the broken wall nearby. The catacombs are dark and infested with drowners. Taking a cat's eye potion allows Geralt to see in the dark and detect them through the walls. The silver sword will make short work of these monsters. There's a circle of power near to where Geralt first drops down that will help heal him if he's not taking a swallow already. Guess that. The path is mostly straightforward, but there's a couple of barriers that Geralt collapses with art signs. Going up the ladder leads Geralt to the monastery's lower level. Unfortunately, 
Letting time pass in real time is the only way to let the cat's eye potion expire if it hasn't already. Scoyatel. Geralt finds himself in the outer buildings of the monastery and quickly finds that the enemy troops are the elite of the Baron's forces. Three guards ambush him, but quick reflexes and generous use of the Quen allows Geralt to survive. Other groups of soldiers lie in wait. true battle is within the courtyard itself. There's a large force of enemies that takes a bit of work, but focusing on the regular soldiers and using hit and run tactics plus Quen signs allows Geralt to thin the herd to a more manageable size. The key to the gate controls was held by the giant knight, and that allows Foltes to join Geralt inside the monastery. You have just become the most titled witcher in the world. And the wealthiest. I'll remind you of that when this is all over, sire. See, Vernon? Geralt succeeded. Lucky he did. The priest was downright discourteous and went off to meet his gods. I saw Scoyatel on the river. Where? 
How many? What colors did they wear? Plow the elves. We'll tend to them later. The monastery awaits. Scoyatel. This puzzle is beginning to come together, Geralt. You're either telling the truth or weaving a very convincing lie. I want to hear the rest. We might have arrived at the same time, if not for tales. Be specific, Witcher. Well, the Archpriest told the truth. His Majesty King Foltest of Temeria. Arthur Tales, erstwhile Count of Nesvelt. I signed your sentence. Yes, yet the Baroness saw fit to pardon me. An awkward situation, to be sure. Anais and Boosie, where are they? The royal children. Don't test my patience, Tails, and I'll grant you a quick death. Confess, Foltest, before the gods and the people. Boosie and Anais are the fruit of your loins. Bow to the gods and admit the truth. You may not have noticed, Tails, but I just took this town. Aided by murderers, sorcerers, and a mutant for whom nothing is holy. This is hallowed ground. You will not raise your hand against a servant of the gods. Where have you taken the children? The hex failed, but the priest still told the truth about where the children so, were. But he missed the implication the that the solar. priest wanted what Geralt and Foltes to go to the solar. Me, it was something that Geralt tricks. would come to regret. Holy man unharmed and the noble gets slapped. A win-win situation, if ever I've seen one. Quiet down, Tails. This is a church. I'll not forget this, mutant. You hear? Damn, I've seen assaults go awry, but the dragon topples them all. Tops. Tops what? Well, tops all. Damn nonsense! Geralt, you should know. Is it possible to tame a dragon? Not as far as I know. Then why is this reptile eating only mine, then? Let's hope Marigold got out of there. I'm sure she did. If not, you'll need a new advisor, sire. Shut up, Roach. It's possible that the dragon simply... Another word from you and the dragon will not be your main concern. Enough! Both of you! The dragon's back! I... You saved my life again. Ask what you will of me, Witcher. Within reason, of course. I need to leave, sire. I'd like Triss Marigold to come with me. If she wants. Are you blind? She's enamored with you. You may leave, and none shall stop you. You have my word. Who's there? Foltest. I've come for my children. Geralt, wait here. You might scare them. Ah, thanks be to the gods. My prayers are answered. not my father. But it is your king, boy. <laughs> Bells, your triumph is complete. The city and fortress taken, sire. Time to thank the forefather and the mother creatrix for this great victory. A moment, blind man. I've not seen my children in six months. The gods can spare another minute. Listen to me. Your mother and I quarreled, but that is over. She was deceived. Evil men turned her against me. 
These men have been punished and all will be well from now. No tears, Busi. One day you'll be king, and kings do not weep. Armed men approach, sire. Children, go to the refectory. My knights will soon be here. You must meet them, for one day you will rule them. Busi, go wash your face. They must not see that you wept. There's a bucket of water in the next room. Anais, help your brother. Sire, let us pray. They must look like the royal children they are. Hmm. They have your eyes, sire. Thanks for watching all the way to the end. Let me know what you thought about it in the comments. Feel free to leave a like, subscribe and hit the bell button to be notified when new videos come out. See you soon.